Any uh, any predictions? Actually, Ziva is going to be in the neutral party. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Play predictions. I am from Switzerland, so I'll stay at the neutral party, and I will allow them to duke it out. <laughs> Very benevolent of you. All right. All right. We so are heading we are into this game. Take it away, Ziva. Thank you. Uh, all right, so we are heading into Blast Forest and the lovely winter team theme getting us into the Christmas spirit here. Uh, we've got on the side, uh, the teams aren't labeled, so I actually am not sure. Give me one second. We've got Morningstar on the Echo, as we saw a very strong pick here in 3v3s. Uh, I guess that far, especially Morningstar, can get up into the sky and take out either Onichan on the Mercy or Chaos on that fara so uh pharmacy here might might face some trouble here if they get into the grasps of morning star here with that echo echo very good finishing character with that beam as soon as any either one of them get under 50 percent hp pulling out that beam will just eradicate them immediately so echo very strong pick echo getting a little bit low morning star getting a little bit low paranoid doing a fantastic job of keeping them up and we've got the winston on that ashtray kind of able to keep some consistent pressure onto that pharmacy uh seems like uh, junkrat picked off rather early on there not even 17 percent all charged so must have happened pretty early on in the game uh so not not seen pretty early on i'm guessing that must have been too far hits there too far directs or just enough to take them out uh strangely enough they're not going for the res i'm guessing they're just kind of relying on that pharmacy to take them through that uh, seems kind of like a poke battle right now. Onichan holding on to that far. Onichan getting very low. Karanor kind of immediately taking them out. And uh, it's not looking great for Chaos. <laughs> um, Ashtray kind of sacrificing themselves to get that final pick onto Chaos. So we've got the Pirates taking that early win with 1-0 to zero versus SWHS Blue. Um, so as we saw there, Echo... Um, and Ashtray on that on that Winston, a very kind of good good dive composition to really get into the face of Chaos and Onichan on that pharmacy. But that means they won't have those three picks moving forward. Now we're seeing Ashtray and Karanor doing that pharmacy on the other side. Onichan on Soldier, a great pick against pharmacy with that hit scan. Diva as well can get right into the face of that part. So very two very good picks on the side of the blue. S A uh, S A S W H S Blue. That's a mouthful to say. Uh, so it'll really be here on Oni Chan to get those picks onto Ashtray or Karenor here early on. Chaos getting very low early on. Oni Chan having to put down Matrix or, or heal heal barrier down pretty pretty quickly. Um, and we've got Morningstar here on the Diva putting a ton of pressure on Oni Chan, keeping him from keeping keeping them from focusing Ashtray and Karenor here on that pharmacy. Uh, we've got Divas on both sides. Oni's trying to get taken out by Asher early on, and that is the SWH Blue's uh, direct counter to Farah. So they're going to be struggling a little bit here. Flair is getting taken out of Mechs as well by Morningstar, and Ashtray booping off Chaos, so we've only got a Baby Diva. Not much a Baby Diva can do against a formidable Far Mercy team. So Pirates are taking the next game 2-0 to zero against SWHS Blue. Uh, so I'm expecting to see a Hog here. It wouldn't surprise me. Hog, a very popular pick uh, for 3v3s. As we explained earlier, a lot of sustain, a lot of damage. Uh, so I'm, I'm predicting at least a Hog on one of the teams. Most likely, uh, if there's somebody comfortable on SWHS Blue, they might pull it out. Um, we're not seeing it, so that's surprising, but not, you know, impossible either. Not everybody is comfortable on Hog, personally. Not my best hero either. So we've got Morningstar on that Tracer, uh, Karenor on that May, another kind of self-sustained hero there, and Ashtray on Baptiste. Then we've got a uh, Mercy Soldier comp on the right with Sombra. Sombra, a great pick, actually, for, uh, 3v3. Karenor taking out, um... I think Chan's super early here with a, a May all, but a huge rest from Chaos taking back Oni Chan into the fight. They're back to 3v3. That's also the beauty of Mercy in a 3v3 comp. That res really can come in handy when things get a little bit out of hand when we get taken off. Morning Star getting a pick. Easy. Three picks over on the side of Pirates. Pirates taking the fight. 3 and 0, oh, and I am ready to hear. Some uh, some boasting here on the side of the Pirates. I let me hear it. I just want to say I am a very, very proud coach right now. They just, oh, I'm so proud of my girls. If it makes you feel any better, Jason, they've been practicing almost exclusively 3v3s this 
uh, this season. So no worries. 